Before refitting the driving crank pins, I first need to remove them from the wheels. Loctite 648 takes a lot more heat to break down than ordinary Loctite, so I set up a temporary hearth on my bench and use my propane torch to put some serious heat into both the crank pins and the respective bosses on the wheels. After a few minutes the pins drop out easy enough with a bit of help from a hammer and a punch. The crank pin setting jig is nothing more than a small block of mild steel with a couple of holes drilled and in my case reamed. The important point with the jig is the distance between those two holes. Fitted to the holes are a pair of bushes, one of which will locate in the axle hole and the wheel and the other to the eccentric rod pin hole in the end of the return crank and by doing so will position the crank pin in the right orientation with respect to the squared off end. First I do a dry run without any Loctite just to make sure it all fits okay and then after giving everything a really good clean I apply the Loctite and leave it overnight to go off. My knowledge on the intricacies of valve gear and how it works is extremely limited but I'm pretty sure the return crank needs to be set so that it's effectively leading the wheel, hence me positioning it to the left side of the axle for this particular wheel. The other wheel, of course, it will be the other way around. Thanks for watching.